Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, this video is part of my underrated game series, and today we're going to be talking about the NES and the N64. Welcome back to another one of my underrated series. So, like I said, we're going to be going over some of the NES games, and then we're going to try to progress on to uh, a different system. Uh, we're actually going to go on to the Nintendo 64. So the first game that we have is Russian Attack by Konami 1987. Um, this game was kind of a staple in my neighborhood. Um, growing up, <clears throat> back then, it was you know, all about playing G.I. Joe and various other things like that, and uh, beating the bad guys, and uh, being the hero and all this other stuff, and Russian Attack just basically fell directly into all of that. Um, it was a Konami game back then, so it was basically uh, a known entity. It was basically declared good as soon as it had the Konami name on it, and, you know, people just ran with it. Um, now, one of the games that uh, uh, that was popular with me, but not with the rest of my neighborhood, was Section Z on the NES. It was uh, released 1987 by Capcom. Uh, this was a reimagining, or like a redo of uh, an arcade game of the same name, I believe. I haven't, I didn't discover the arcade game until much, much later in life. Um, gotta say that I really prefer the NES version. Um, just the, the way that it looks, the way that it plays, how you can walk on the ground and shoot things, how you can shoot forward, in front of you, behind you, um, it and, and how you were like a person in an armored suit instead of a uh, a guy you know, in a spaceship, um, and and like the choices that you had to make, you know, do you go up at the end of the level? Do you go down at the end of the level? You know that kind of thing with the branching paths and stuff. It was really a lot of fun, um, and I just I, I think that game doesn't get nearly as much recognition as it deserves. Uh, another one that's kind of flown under the radar with a few people is Super Dodgeball on the NES 1989 by, oh, I can't read my thing, CGS ImageSoft, uh, I think, um, CSG, I don't know, ImageSoft. Um, so, <clears throat> uh, I liked this game just because it was a kind of tongue-in-cheek style of uh, versus game, and uh, I'm sure, like, all of you out there are just screaming about the Japanese uh, Kunokan um, style origins and stuff like that with it. I didn't really get into that. Um, I was more into, like, me and my friends playing this fairly unknown game, and, you know, we all loved dodgeball as kids growing up and everything. And... Again, like, not a lot of people talk about this game. It got a little bit of a resurgence during the Game Boy Advance title um, re-release, but, um, you know, I, I just, I don't see a lot of people talking about this title either, and it's one that's, you know, deserving of a little bit more attention. Uh, so, now, finally, guys, I think we're done with the Nintendo and my underrated game series. I know you're cheering. It's great. It's wonderful. So, we're going to move on to another system. It's the Nintendo 64. So yes, we're still stuck with Nintendo, but it's okay. Uh, so the first game is going to be Aero Gauge. Um, this was an unknown racing game that tried to compete with F-Zero. And um, it was released in 1998 by ASCII Entertainment. It's a little bit wonky on the controls. Um, you know, you, you fly around, you have much more of a choice in altitude than you did in any of the other games. Uh, flying through the tunnels and stuff. It's, it's really difficult to get into. Um, and that might be why it's a little bit underrated. And, um... You know, it's it's still fun. I love the game to death. 
uh, you should definitely check it out. But, um, you know, Aereo Gauge was one of my favorites on my Nintendo 64, and it's relatively unknown. Next up is somewhat not talked about. Um, it was known back in the day, but uh, again, it's released on the Nintendo 64. It's Blast Corps uh, by Nintendo and Rare in 1997. Um, you run around, you destroy things, you blow up buildings, you pilot a big mech, you pilot all kinds of different destructive vehicles that are just really a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, it gets a little repetitive and stuff, but I don't think that it's, uh, that anyone's really talking about this game. And I think it's because it's a fairly common game and, um, it's just not shared very much. And finally, the last game we're going to be talking about today is going to be Extreme G on the Nintendo 64, released 1997 by Acclaim Entertainment. I love the Extreme G series, um, but this game is a little bit more different. It has uh, kind of an arena-style combat style to it, as well as all of the racing. I remember going through and playing this game, and... Um, I, on, on the original Apple, I played an old game called Auto Duel, and this game reminded me of Auto Duel, but it was just strictly motorcycles. And uh, Auto Duel was just an arena style dueling thing with weapons on, on cars, and Extreme G had a race element to it. And I, I really liked the fast spa paced uh, nature of the entire game, where like it was just this insane amount of speed to the point where you just almost couldn't control it and you were just on the edge all the time of you know am i going to be able to keep control in this turn or not and again it's another game that doesn't get a lot of love from anyone out in the community right now and i think that's a real shame well that's it for this episode of mondane designs i'm your host mondane I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.